everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. Okay, I am going to try to do another soap like I did a few weeks ago with my tall column mold where I did this. I said it a thousand times in that video. The orange here you see is sort of a kind of a almost a rustic orange. The camera just doesn't do it. This is a bright vivid orange. I want to do the same soap only instead of the orange I want to do a bright Caribbean blue. So, do my usual procedure, light emulsification, get it split up into two four cut batches, put my scents, my colors in, pour into my mold, do the twist, and hopefully I will have the same result. That is the best result of making this, this one is the best result of making this soap I've ever had. I'm so happy with that one. So we're gonna try it again. I'm going to have blue in the center. Light water is very cloudy. I put a lot of silk in this one. A lot more silk than usual. Of course, I'll post the recipe below. This is a recipe that I have used before. I'll show you the soap in just a minute when I get a chance. But I'm at a point that I can. But since I have mixed my line oils, I can't do that right now, but I'll show you in just a minute. So, let's make a little bit of noise here. Light emulsification. Just a very thin trace. The last time I didn't have to, but I know that I can stick blend just before I pour if I have to. You can always stick blend if it's too thin. You can't unstick blend if it's too thick. And that's all I'm going to dare do. when I did not have a cup to put my steak blender in. Here we go. The green cup I usually put the bell in. It's liquid soap. Remnant still in it where I made some liquid soap. So anyway, there we go. Alright, let's get this into my two measuring cups. About four cups each. Doesn't have to be precise exact, close is good enough. That one is just shot before, that one's just over, so we will scoop this out. This one, once again, this does not have to be an exact science, at least with this design anyway. Close is absolutely good enough, which is what we have. Okay, let's get the colors in. I'll start with the white first. There's my whisk. Now this batter is too thin as it is right now to pour, but the last time I did this, it was at this point, but by the time I put my scents in and everything else, it was actually a little thicker than I wanted, but yet again, the soap turned out perfectly. So I'm not gonna worry about that being just a little thin right now. Okay, there's the white. Let's get the blue in over here. This blue is really potent, super potent, but it looks so nice. It's the one I did a few weeks ago with the hot process. And then I'm gonna put um, Brambleberry's Island Escape into the blue. 
Now there's just a little bit of oil floating on this one. I think I am going to have to stick blend it. It's just a little bit of oil on top. It's not 100% emulsified. And then and the white side with the poppy seeds, I'm going to put uh, the apple sage because it behaves well and I think it will complement this scent. Yeah, you know, this is too thin and it's not quite emulsified. So I'm going to do just a tad bit of stick blending on this one. And notice I have not put the scents in yet. stand it to. And I haven't put the scent in yet. Get just a little bit of stick blend on this. That's all I'm going to do. I do believe the scent's going to help me out. Yeah, we're starting to thicken a little bit now. That stick blending helped it out. And even though both of the, this, the, the, the island escape in the blue accelerates just a little bit. Yeah, I can see it right now. That's just what I want. That is a very good consistency. I'm just going to continue to stir just to make sure I get it in. I'm going to put a tablespoon of poppy seeds into the white. And hopefully that doesn't set up too much on me while I do this. And go ahead and put my scent in here. Get it stirred in. Yeah, that's that's thickening. I gotta get this in the mold real, real fast. Get this mixed up. See, this one's just a little too thin yet. But I gotta get this in the mold with that blue. So, you look out of the picture for a minute. I'm sorry, can't get you in it. Just please bear with me. Let's let some of that blue fall down in there. It's still pourable. Thick pourable, and I'm gonna put some of the white on the other side to balance the pressure. The white's perfect. The white's exactly what I want. The blue's just a tad thick. I'm just going to go ahead and pour the rest of it because it's so thick right now. Thick but pourable. Fill the other with the white equally or approximately equally. And then I'm going to tap this down really well on the ground, which you're not going to see, sorry. Now they've equaled out. Okay. Get the. I'll be. I'll be just a minute. Get the rest of my blue in there. The rest of my white in there. I'm going to have a little bit to go on this top. As soon as I get those in, and do the twist. Okay. Tap it down again because now my white's thickening. Eh? 
Now I take a screwdriver, just a regular screwdriver, and pull the divider out. You can watch, maybe you can. This is what we have so far. I'm having to work fast, sorry about that. I'm going to pull the divider out and clean it up. Oh shoot, oh, I did a twist. I'm, I'm going to be losing my mind, folks. I just messed it up. Didn't do the twist. I'm going too fast. Alright, there's the twist. Still looks good. Put it down. Alright, if I didn't screw that up pulling it out too soon, it's going to be just right. Now time to pull this out. And scrape everything off down in there. Just get that in my pot. We'll tap it down again. Here's what we have now after I did that. And then I'm just going to take the rest of my batter and pour on top because I will have several bars that don't have that twist design in them. But that's alright. That's just how it is with this mold. Put the rest of my white on top. See it here, what we're doing. Now, what I'll do is go ahead and spray this little bit of top with rubbing alcohol. This rough one on the top will be mine. I have one right now that I'm using at the YMCA, and it's this exact recipe, and I love it. Let me sit you down here and show you that stuff that I made, well, four weeks ago. Let me take my gloves off. I'm done touching the soap and I don't want to touch a fresh one. This one, I'm using one of these. It's in my locker at the YMCA now. This turned the plum like it was supposed to. Got the perfect red and cold process, which is hard to do. Smells great and I love this recipe. So anyway, I'm going to spray this with rubbing alcohol, cover it. Put it to bed, let it go through gel phase, and I'll see you tomorrow for the cutting. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.